Yes, good afternoon to all the participants. Uh, the anchors, we can start with today's session. So over to you all. Respected speaker, principal sir, HOD of all engineering departments, faculty members of SJCEM, and all the aspiring students. A very good evening to one and all. I, Bauras Raut, along with Vedashri Patil, extend to you all a very warm welcome. Sophisticated and Perpetual Coders Association of SJCEM's Computer Department, in association with Computer Society of India, CSI, Students Chapter, of SJCEM together present to you all an expert talk on career prospect in full stack development. Well, before we start, let us understand the basic meaning of full stack development. Full stack development refers to a development of both front end that is client side and back end that is server side portion of a web application. Full stack web developers have the ability to design complete web applications and website. They work on the front end, back end, database, and debugging of web applications or website. To give us insight about full stack development, we have with us today software developers, Mr. Bilal and Mr. Hussein. Bilal sir has worked on projects named as ONTA, Dowrity, Escape Now. Stage INC and Hussein sir has worked on following projects Android application development for Bhujan Vikas Agadi, that is a political party, accomplished BSC CS dynamic ED tech Android app, developed simple interest calculator app using Flutter, accomplished virtual accountant account keeping app for businessmen, developed Todo app using Flutter. We are very happy to have Bilal sir and Hussein sir among us and are very eager to learn from you sir. So now I request them to kindly take over with today's session. Over to you sir. Uh, good afternoon to one and all present in the session. Uh, I would like to thank Paurus Raut for such a kind introduction for uh, about us. So I will, uh, before we start session, I will request the host to allow us to share our screens. And it will be very much, you know, uh, exciting if you all can turn on your cameras like we have done. So it will be like two way communication rather than we are talking and you guys are listening. So I will request everyone to turn on their cameras, please. Requesting all students to turn on your cameras as it's going to be an expert talk. All right. Uh, we want to keep it uh, quite interactive instead of having one way communication. Feel free. I appreciate Harsh, Gaurav, Chital, Shinde, Vivek. They have taken initiative to turn on their cameras. Guys, I will really request you to turn on their, your camera so it looks like we are in the college and not in the webinar. It should look like a two-way interactive sessions. Uh, I would re again request host to uh, allow us to share our screen. A permission should be enabled. So how are you guys doing? You can unmute yourself or you can use the chat box to answer this. How are you guys doing? All good? I guess you're on mute. Am I audible guys? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So that looks good. Um, we are co-host now. 
uh, Bilal, I have made you the co-host. Just check whether you can share the screen. Sure, I have got the permissions. Thank you. All right. So, guys, once my screen is visible, just let me know. Okay. Okay. Okay, so here we go. So guys, uh, we are an industry expert, web developer and net developer. So today, the main agenda for our webinar is going to how you can dominate web and app as a career option in the year 2022. Okay, and it is an initiative by the young developers group. And we are over here to explain you what is the actual problems and how we can find the solutions for this. We are planning to, uh, the main agenda for this webinar will be how we can bridge the gap between industry and the college and uh, transform your career from a normal student to an industry ready student. So here are a few words about me. One second. Sorry guys. So here are a few words about me as my friend Paras already informed, uh, introduced me, but here it's my privilege to tell you more things about me. So I'm a web developer by profession and uh, I'm currently working as an SDE one at Simbo Insurance and has developed around uh, nine applications till now, full stack web applications. Apart from this, I'm also a web developer and I am also a consult consultant at my own company. We have a company name is Powers, uh, sorry, Dawrati Tech uh, Education Society. So over there, I'm a consultant and the company is a service-based company. Apart from this, I, uh, I also uh, you help students to uh, mold their careers. So in the, in the field of profession, uh, you know, instructor, I have trained more than 50 students till now. And uh, uh, that's all about me. I guess I will be more uh, insightful when I'm talking about the technologies rather than uh, not wasting time on the introduction and much of the things as because Paras has already informed most of the things about me. So over to you, Hussein, now. All right. Uh, very good. Uh, good afternoon to all of you, to all the teachers and students and my dear friends. Uh, few words about me myself Hussain Nagvadria and I am a professor not that professor who plans haste not that professor of money heist but I'm a professor who plans careers why do I call myself a professor because by profession I'm an instructor okay I'm instructor at skill vertex other than this um, I have been giving guest lectures at various universities like SRM University Chennai uh, St. Xavier's College Mumbai St. Xavier's Engineering College Mumbai I'm also a speaker at uh, MOV Vaishnav College. Over there, I've taken a one-month workshop on Android app development. Also the co-founder of Young Developers Group. So that's about me. And uh, next. Yes. So before starting uh, this session, there's a very quick Q&A session. I want you all to take initiative to reply in the chat box. How much a person is willing to pay to have dinner with, with Mr. Warren Buffet? Person ke jagah pe, just answer me. How much are you willing to pay to have a dinner with Mr. Warren Buffet? Any, any random guesses in the chat box? Kya aap kitna pay karoge ek dinner ke liye? Now, this thing is very relevant to whatever I'm going to say. So that's why I want you all to be thoda sa interactive. Okay. What about others? How much are you willing to pay to have dinner with Mr. Warren Buffet? Quickly answer in the chat box. I would like to see your responses. 5,000, 6,000. Okay. What about others? <laughs> nice one. Some shares of good companies. Okay. So I see coffee meme lovers here yeah, already. Okay. That's a huge amount. 50,000. Mm -hmm. Anyone else? So if only four to five people are, only this much people are listening to me right now. Seriously? How much are you willing to pay to have dinner with Mr. Warren Buffet, one of the greatest investor of all time? 
ठीक है this is about uh, 2019 now why are people willing to pay so much ek lunch ke liye just for a lunch with mr warren buffet why are people willing to pay so much itna sara paisa kyu the reason being whoever is investing over there he knows ki one hour with mr warren buffet is worth 100 hours investing into reading or listening to podcast or learning anything else am i making sense one hour with mr warren buffet is worth more than putting 100 hours into reading about investments or uh, learning or listening to podcast so that's my point understand one thing when you're putting your one hour with wise person make sure that you're putting all your concentration over there because that one hour will give you lot of learnings okay so the next one hour we are going to teach you or we are going to share some insightful information about what's going on to industry of web and application all right so let me start with my agenda first uh, another q and a i like to ask questions a lot okay so here's a small game for all of you now either you can willingly say or else i will have to take names to give you answer what will you do if you're hungry at home and there's no one jo khana bana ke de what what will you do what are the options that you will cook myself not everyone is a good cook maggi okay तो डोंट हैव एनी रिसोर्सेस व्हाट इफ रिसोर्सेस ही नहीं है तो मैगी भी नहीं है चेक स्विग और जोमैटो हम इंटेलिजेंट पीपल ऑर्डर फूड फ्रॉम आउटसाइड स्ट्रीट फूड करेक्ट ठीक है सो माय कंसर्न ओवर हियर इज नाउ डेज वी आर लिविंग इन यू नो वेरी एडवांस्ड सिटी राइट नाउ हम मुंबई के आसपास रह रहे सो हमें जब भी भूख लगती है खाना खाना होता है वॉट वी डू द फर्स्ट थिंग वी गो ऑन जोमेटो विच चेक यार बिरयानी खाने का बहुत मन कर रहा है चलो भैरो इस बिरयानी से मंगाते या बिरयानी बाई किलो से ऑर्डर करते हैं राइट वट विल यू डू इफ यूर इन साइड इफ यूर इन मुंबई एंड टैक्सीज आर नॉट यू नो वो कोई आ नहीं रहे टैक्सीज आर गोस्टिंग यू वाई बिकॉज उनको तो लंबा बाढ़ आची है वट विल यू डू टैक्सी वाले तो मिल नहीं रहे और तुम्हें जाना है कहीं दूर जू जाना है चलो तुम्हें अंधेरी स्टेशन से जू जाना है और रिक्शा वाले रेडी नहीं है क्या करोगे वट द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट यूल डू ऑब्वियसली वॉकिंग तो जाओगे नहीं ओला ओला उबर रैपिडो समथिंग लाइक दैट करेक्ट वट विल यू डू इफ यू वॉन्ट टू वॉच समथिंग कुछ मूवीज देखनी है बट द सिनेमा हाउस आर स्टिल क्लोज अब तक जियो सिनेमा चलो खुल गया बट वॉट इफ जियो सिनेमा भी बंद होता क्या करोगे तुम ओ टी टी प्लेटफॉर्म लाइक नेटफ्लिक्स एनी अदर ऑप्शन प्राइम ठीक है प्राइम एम एक्स टकाटक वाला भी कोई होगा ठीक है वॉट इफ यू आर मिसिंग योर बेस्ट फ्रेंड एंड इज नॉट प्रेजेंट विथ यू एंड यू वॉन्ट टू टॉक टू हिम सिंपली पिक अप योर कॉल आई दर यूल कॉल हिम और वीडियो कॉल जूम जूम पे तो ऑब्वियसली कोई नहीं कॉल करता बट व्हाट्सएप इज देर टेलीग्राम इज देर यूल वीडियो कॉल हिम राइट वॉट इफ यू लॉज द वे बैक टू होम चलो तुम टैब्स में गए घूमने अब टैब्स में वापिस रिटर्न आने का पता ही नहीं रस्ता क्या करोगे गूगल मैप्स so this are the daily scenarios the questions that i'm asking are day to day life se bahut zyada match day theek hai i just want to focus on this particular point ke if you notice our our day is uh, revolving around this application so much for each and everything we search for an application now even to wake up early in the morning even to wake up early in the morning we require an alarm clock और रिक्वायर बेस्ट फ्रेंड ठीक है कि भाई लेट हो रहा है जल्दी उठ जाए कॉल अप अरे भाई लेक्चर है तेरा सा अटेंडेंस आ रहा है दिस हैपेंस दिस जनरली हैपेंस सो मैं उठने से लेकर सोने तक हमें स्मार्टफोन की बहुत ज्यादा नीड है करेक्ट लत नहीं बोलूंगा बट हमें नीड है वट इज देयर इन सेट दिस स्मार्टफोन विच मेक्स दिस फोन स्मार्टर स्मार्टफोन तो क्या है जस्ट पीस ऑफ हार्डवेयर वट इज दैट इज मेकिंग दिस स्मार्टफोन स्मार्ट क्यू कौन क्या है वो एक्जेक्टली exactly जो इस चीज को स्मार्ट बना रहे हैं Applications and websites, softwares I can say. 
सो वॉट्स एन एप्लीकेशन ये आप सभी को पता है वी आर यूजिंग इन डे टू डे लाइफ ये एप्लीकेशन ही वो चीज है जो हमारे स्मार्टफोन्स को स्मार्टर बना रही है और हमारी लाइफ को इजी बना रही है जस्ट इमेजिन अ डे विदाउट ऑल दिस थिंग्स लाइक जोमैटो नहीं आपके पास ओला उबर नहीं आपके पास गूगल मैप्स नहीं आपके पास देखने के लिए यूट्यूब नहीं है नेटफ्लिक्स नहीं है वोट वुड योर डे बी लाइक फ्रस्ट्रेटिंग इमेजिन नहीं कर पाओगे राइट right? So that's the point I want to say. आजकल हमारी लाइफ स्मार्टफोन के अंदर जो स्मार्ट एप्लीकेशन है उसका अराउंड बहुत ज्यादा रिवॉल्व कर रही है सो so, हमने तो चलो सिर्फ एक परस्पेक्टिव देखा फ्रॉम अ यूजर्स परस्पेक्टिव बट वट्स देयर इन साइड दिस एप्लीकेशन सी देर आर टू एंड करेक्ट वन हु इज यूजिंग दिस एप्लीकेशन सेकेंड वन Who is making this application? Correct. At the end, of, second end, एक बड़ी बड़ी कंपनीज है टेक जायट्स है जो बिलियंस एंड बिलियंस ऑफ डॉलर्स की रिवेन्यू कमा रहे हैं यूजिंग दिस एप्लीकेशन राइट सो वॉट आर दिस एप्लीकेशन दे आर वे ऑफ कम्युनिकेटिंग या वे ऑफ इंटरेक्शन दे आर दैट इज एन प्लेटफॉर्म इफ यू जस्ट टेल मी ओला के पास कितनी गाड़ियां हैं खुद की उबर के पास कितनी गाड़ी है खुद की जीरो जोमैटो के पास कितने रेस्टोरेंट है खुद के जीरो बाइजूस के बाद कितने क्लासेस अपने जीरो दे आर दे डोंट ऑपरेट इन अ फिजिकल वर्ल्ड राइट नाउ एवरीथिंग इज रिवॉल्यूशनाइज ठीक है सब कुछ डिजिटली ट्रांसफॉर्म हो चुका है सो द पॉइंट दैट आई नीड टू मेक इज नाउ डेज कंपनीज आर मेकिंग और बिल्डिंग देयर बिजनेस मॉडल अराउंड दिस एप्लीकेशन एंड वेबसाइट इवन इफ यू सी दी स्टार्टअप नाउ डेज वो सारी चीजें इन सॉफ्टवेयर के अराउंड घूमती रहती है करेक्ट आजकल अगर तो, तुम्हें कोई अपना खुद का स्टार्टअप भी करना हो तो वट इज द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट विल कम इन टू योर माइंड आई नीड टू क्रिएट एन एप और इन वेबसाइट correct even the traditional businesses these days they are switching to um, you know online mode jo pehle online deliveries nahi de rahe the jo restaurants nahi the ab unko bhi khud ke apps banane pad rahe because they have realized the world is moving faster and because of the pandemic that happened hum sabko online jana pada it's not that we were willing ke chalo chale jate no we, ha- we we had no other option classes offline ho rahi thi correct but ab they are also this is also happening online right abhi hum jo बैठे हैं हम ये इंटरेक्शन करें दिस इज ऑल्सो हैपनिंग ओवर जूम व्हाट इज जूम सॉफ्टवेयर एंड एप्लीकेशन करेक्ट कहना क्या चाहते हो द वर्ल्ड हैज स्टार्टेड टू स्विच टुवर्ड्स द ऑनलाइन और ऑनलाइन प्लेटफॉर्म की तरफ तुरंत जा रही है सो व्हाई यू शुड डू एप डेवलपमेंट इज व्हाट आई वॉन्ट टू से राइट नाउ ठीक है कोई भी चीज करने से पहले इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट यूर वाई इज वेरी क्लियर ठीक है आई एक्चुअली tell this in every seminar that i present or that i give that if your why is not clear so if your vision is not clear na you'll get lot of troubles you'll you'll get confused ki kyu karna hai yaar kya kar raha hu all these things will happen theek hai especially when you're into your graduation theek hai so your why should be very clear and that's what i want to clear right now i know you you might have your own reason set of reasons ki kyu tumhe ye cheez karne hai ya kyu it field mein jana hai but today i am going to give you some of my reasons why i came into it industry and why you should come to okay why you should advance your career into this particular field first of all see uh, in the pandemic chalo recent example le rahe the pandemic mein all the companies were facing losses theek okay? hai companies big companies like airlines le lo ya fashion industry le lo even zara filed for bankruptcy right there hell lot of companies which went which went bankrupt correct but the it industry was the only industry which was booming on great scale iska best example agar mujhe dena ho to wo hai byju's ka theek hai just uthao byju's ki news aur last ek saal ki news padho byju's ne kya kya continuous rigorous hiring ki unhone unhone acquisition itne sare ki unhone itni hiring ki unhone alag alag countries mein expand kiya so byju's sirf ek example hai overall industry ka theek hai ye just an example jo hamare samne jo hame dikh raha hai baki details hum dekhenge is seminar ke andar ke it industry ki growth kitni hui kaise hui kab hui ye 2 saal ke andar almost everyone lost their job ya didn't get the enough salary full salaries nahi mil rahi thi ya companies shut ho rahi thi just because work from office was not possible but it industry ke karan ya it field ke karan bahut sari cheeze connect hui aur it field hi aisi industry thi jahan pe log jobs lost nahi kar rahe the ulta logo ko aur jobs mil rahi thi theek hai developments mein aur jobs nikli even jo zoom wagera google meet the iske pehle kitne logo ko pata tha zoom aur google meet hardly none jaise hi ye lockdown hua to ye sari cheez boom hone lagi the point i need to make is it industry जो पैंडमिक हुआ उसका बहुत बड़ा एडवांटेज एक आईटी को मिला 
ठीक है एंड ये सिर्फ एक बिगनिंग इट्स नॉट द पीक सेचुरेशन अब तक नहीं आया है ये सिर्फ एक बिगनिंग है सो वाई वाई एंड्रॉइड एप डेवलपमेंट इज अ बेटर करियर ऑप्शन रीजन आर ओवर इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू ठीक है डिमांडिंग मोस्ट डिमांडिंग स्किल्स राइट नाउ वन ऑफ द मोस्ट डिमांडिंग स्किल्स इज एंड्रॉइड डेवलपमेंट जस्ट लुक एट द मार्केट देर आर मोर देन थ्री बिलियन स्मार्टफोन डिवाइसेज दैट आर रनिंग ऑन एंड्रॉइड जस्ट एंड्रॉइड की बात कर रहा हूं मैं सो जस्ट इमेजिन की डिमांड कितनी ज्यादा है एप्लीकेशन की मैंने यहाँ पे अभी भी आईओ एस कंसिडर नहीं किया है आई एम जस्ट टॉकिंग अबाउट एंड्रॉइड ठीक है एंड नाउ डेज एंड्रॉइड इज नॉट जस्ट स्टिक टू द स्मार्टफोन एंड्रॉइड इज कमिंग लाइक लिटरली एवरीवेयर यू सी टीवीज यू सी लैपटॉप यू सी टैबलेट्स एंड्रॉइड इज एवरीवेयर इवन इन योर वहीकल कार्स में भी आजकल एंड्रॉइड आईओ एस आ रहा है करेक्ट टैबलेट्स आ रहे हैं सो दैट्स माई पॉइंट एंड्रॉइड जो है वो एक्चुअली हमारे डेली लाइफ में बहुत बड़ा रोल प्ले कर रहा है so that is the reason because android rahega to definitely there will be applications and applications rahenge uski demand rahegi to is skill ki bhi demand rahegi correct hum wo wo wale scenario wale to nahi na jo chintu hai humne app bana liya billionaires aa gaye invest karne ke liye no hum aise aise developers ki baat nahi kar rahe hum proper android developers ki baat kar rahe job opportunities there are lot of job opportunities सर्विस इंडस्ट्री में देखो या प्रोडक्ट बेस्ड इंडस्ट्री में देखो बहुत बहुत सारे जॉब से इवन सी वाई यू शुड लर्न दिस पर्टिकुलर स्किल बिकॉज वी आर इन ग्रेजुएशन राइट नाउ ठीक है बहुत ऐसे स्टूडेंट्स होते हैं जिनका खुराफाती दिमाग होता है ठीक है लॉर्ड ऑफ आइडियाज दट आर कमिंग अप इन टू द माइंड एंड आप में से भी ऐसे कई स्टूडेंट्स हो गए जिनके पास बहुत सारे स्टार्टअप आइडियाज स्टार्टअप आइडियाज है करेक्ट सो दिस स्किल विल हेल्प यू टू At least build an MVP of your startup. ठीक है minimum viable product बना लो आइदर इट मे बी एन एप और एन वेबसाइट योर चॉइस सो दिस इज एन अनदर अपॉर्चुनिटी वॉट दिस पर्टिकुलर स्किल और लर्निंग दिस स्किल गिव यू लुक्रेटिव इनकम इसकी तो क्या ही मैं बात करूँ की इनकम अच्छी खासी है ठीक है आई टी में कोई भी चीज पकड़ लो स्पेशली एप एंड वेब जिस हिसाब से इनकी डिमांड है दस गुड इनकम इन इट ठीक है लर्निंग को वेरी इजी है आपको ऐसे एक साल दो साल कम्प्लीटली नहीं देना है कोई भी चीज में थ्री टू फोर मंथ्स और सिक्स मंथ्स मैक्स टू मैक्स इज इनफ टाइम टू बिकम अ वेरी गुड डेवलपर नेक्स्ट सो दिस आर सम ऑफ माय रीजंस व्हाई व्हाई यू शुड डू एंड्रॉइड ऐप डेवलपमेंट वन मोर थिंग ये चीज दिस इज जस्ट स्टार्टेड एंड आफ्टर दी जियो रिवोल्यूशन दैट इज टू उसके बाद ही जो इंटरनेट का यूजेज वो इतना ज्यादा बूम हुआ ठीक है सो द मेन आई कैन से दर जहां से कव जे कव जहां से स्टार्ट हुआ वो था टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन ऑनवर्ड्स ठीक है जहां से मोस्ट ऑफ दीपल केम टू नो अबाउट सच काइंड ऑफ एप्लीकेशन उसके पहले हम हार्डली इतने ज्यादा एप्स यूज करते उसके पहले हम हार्डली कोई यूट्यूब वगैरह यूज करता था राइट वेरी वेरी फ्यू पीपल और यूज भी करते थे तो बहुत लिमिटेशन में करते थे जैसे जियो रिवॉल्यूशन हुआ जैसे इंटरनेट स्पीड अच्छी हुई रेट्स डाउन हुए उसके बाद जो डिमांड हुई एप्लीकेशन की और वेबसाइट्स की दैट्स ऑन नेक्स्ट लेवल सो दिस आर सम ऑफ माय रीजंस व्हाई व्हाई यू शुड डू एंड्रॉइड ऐप डेवलपमेंट एंड माय ब्रदर बिलाल विल एक्सप्लेन यू व्हाई यू शुड डू वेब डेवलपमेंट एंड हाउ टू मेक करियर इनटू वेब डेवलपमेंट ओवर टू यू ओके सो गाइस आई आई होप यू ऑल आर क्लियर विद व्हाट इज वेब एंड व्हाई वेब बिफोर आई कंटिन्यू विद सॉरी व्हाट इज ऐप एंड व्हाई ऐप बिफोर आई कंटिन्यू विद वेब i i have a small example of a student uh, i guess before one year uh, we heard a uh, candidate he was from uh, i guess uh, usa or canada i am not sure from where he was so he created an one small application just a wallpaper download application and he uploaded that application in the play store and right now that guy he is earning you know more than what was the income uh, Uh, it was like it was acquired by one of the uh, worldwide com- it was acquired by um, i'm not sure the company name uh, it was acquired by pubg or tiktok i'm not sure with the company name and that guy was paid in the billions you know so just to uh, make this wallpaper application so that's the demand of you know he was just very basic knowledge of he had just basic knowledge of android and he created that application and portrayed in front of people and play store and he got millions of download and he got he earned you know lots of money from that so that is also one of the application why you should do web development now let's talk about what is uh, what is web and what is web development basically when we are talking of web web is like i 
I have a small question in front of you. Uh, can you tell me what do you mean by www? Like anyone in a chat box, or you can unmute yourself and you can say, what is www? Full. I don't want full form. I want the definition, or I want the use case of www. Anyone? I I hope guys you are listening to us and at least try to interact with us because it's the uh, 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 if no one is sending and like you can also type I yeah I don't know it's okay I can understand because like there are like uh, not everyone knows everything in this world there are few people who are specialized in some other thing and they, they are not aware about IT that's okay so can you can anyone tell me what is www okay I can't see any inputs from you guys okay computer and smartphone devices connected and sharing information uh Gaurav, uh i i appreciate your initiative that like uh, appreciate you have answered something but that's slightly not a valid question you can consider yeah it's like you know you are talking you are going somewhere around that information system of all around the world yeah tushar again you know not accurate answer but yeah you are almost there basically www or World Wide web is a storage of multiple a faction of internet dedicated to exchange hypertext files and other media. <laughs> this was really a good answer. I, I appreciate you, Narayan. This is the exactly thing what I'm trying to explain. WWW is a way to communicate between the, uh, you know, between the people on the internet. But instead of this definition, I have a small example for you guys. What does this WW means? You have seen multiple websites. So a place where all the websites are getting stored that place is known as web or that place is known as www let's take an analogy you have multiple resources to study you have books reference books you have textbooks you have notebooks everything where all these things are getting stored in your college a library so library is your web and all these books are your website okay now let's talk uh, how does this web work because understanding web development or understanding web we should also know what how does this web work and the process uh one second. Uh, okay, so how does this web work? So we have a Alex. He is a guy who is very much addicted towards the Instagram. Okay, now what he does, if he wants to serve the Instagram, he do not have mobile app. Okay, so what he will do, he is having his laptop. So he will go to in, uh, Google as a browser. He will type something. So he's uh, typing something over there, Instagram.com or anything. So what will happen? This Instagram.com, what it will do is basically Instagram.com. It will hit on the some URL. Okay, whenever we are hitting on certain URL and we all know that computer doesn't understand normally. So this normal English URL, it will be converted into an IP address. I hope you guys are aware about IP address. It's like unique ID given to each device or each server in the www or web. Okay, so what is happening? So we are passing a normal uh, English text over here and this DNS, DNS is like domain naming system. So it is a place where it says over here, translate domain to IP. So what it will do, this www.instagram.com, it will convert that domain into particular ID. And once that ID is uh, available, it will go and uh, search in the web. So this server over here, it is like a big web. Over here, uh, this uh, DNS, what it will do, it will check for that IP address. If that IP address is available, it will give the response or, you know, stores or generates the website. So basically, uh, whenever I'm typing something and I'm hitting enter. So once we see the output of that, before that, what is happening? That is like, you know, that is where uh, your internally DNS is working. Your protocols are there to communicate between the system. Uh, you have DNS server from where uh, your domains are going to get converted into IP. Your server is there, like basically a worldwide web. As Powers was telling in the starting, we have front end, we have back end, we have databases, we have you know infrastructure. So many things when we are talking about web or app, anything we are talking. But there is like you know you should always know how these things are working. If you know how and why, what will happen, you will easily understand how you have to solve the problem. If you know the basics, you know how I have to achieve this. If you know how I have to like what I have to achieve, what will happen? You can easily find out the answers for how. Okay, so this is how a web is working. Okay, now let's take an example, compare our, this example to our library the example. What is happening? Alex is going to the library. So over here, what is uh, inside the library, you know, 
uh, it is not possible for anyone to store the name or you know to store the uh, keep the name of 50000 books in their mind it's practically impossible so what they are doing over inside library we have one dns server instead of server we have a computer app okay software over there what we have done we have stored all the book names along with their unique id what does this unique id means it's like an ip address okay when we are talking uh, and whenever you this alex goes to librarian what they, he will tell that i want a story book and the author is this or that so let's say if he is talking about learn programming by uh, uh i so he wants a book name as learn programming uh, learn c programming so what this librarian will do uh, that librarian he or she he, uh, he or she will check uh, that book exist exist on which uh, you know uh, the unique id for that book once that unique id is available that librarian will go to that uh, you know cupboard take out the book and he will give the, uh, he or she will give to the uh, student or the end user so that's all how web works so are you clear with how does this web works basically and did you, i hope you understand what is this web okay now when i have paras or when i was talking this is front end or this is back end this is client server this is database what does this basically mean so uh, these are the building blocks of web so i have an interesting story for you so in the year 2002 uh, uh, mark zuckerberg he got an idea of facebook okay so so when he got the idea of facebook uh, what he did he jotted down all the points okay when he jotted down all oh, guys just a second okay he jotted down all the requirements everything what he has to do to build an application like the uh, facebook then he realized it is practically impossible for me as an individual to create such application so he started searching for a team okay so over here using this example i am going to explain you how the software life cycle works for web or app or any sort of type of software then you will understand what is front end and back end in detail okay so uh, what happened mark zuckerberg decided i have to hire few people so he was developing an application which name is like uh, which is an uh, at level of facebook right so what he have to do he has to hire some op people in, in his team so what he did he gathered down all the requirements and he decided he needs one designer so he hired uh, you know over here a designer that designer will be an ux developer okay basically ux developer role is to talk about feel and look of the website whatever you are going to see in front of your eyes instead of on web or app anyway so then next person what he was needed was the uh, front end developer because he has to convert the designs into some interactive designs so over there we can communicate with our api or we can store so many people you know um, we can have uh, people coming and interacting over there having so many uh, things to do like we have to manage the responsiveness we have to manage api integration we have to manage you know user experience as well so so many things are there so that's why we need a front end developer now front end developer or our client or our browser is totally dumb google chrome doesn't know anything okay it's just a uh, you know platform from where we get the website so for every website or for every client we should have a strong brain so brain part is done on the server that is basically a back end developer so uh, then uh, mark zuckerberg hires the back end developer and we have last one that is supplier so what does this supplier op means once everything is ready we need someone right who can go and enter into uh, push our product into the market i am not telling over your supplier or infrastructure is like a marketing person basically the person who is going to supply your application or manage your application once its development is done basically deployment load balancing you talk about uh, you know uh, managing server managing database and so many things so basically whatever you are seeing on the browser so what happened once mark zuckerberg speaking the idea this all four people will come together they will decide what i have to do then uh, they will jot comes to the certain conclusion then uh, this all requirements will go to your designer op designer will make multiple screens you know feel uh, based on the market trends see the latest technology what other applications are using what their competitors are using and he will come up with the prototypes all the prototypes once it is approved by mark zuckerberg what they will do it will go to our utilizer op basically utilizer op its work is just to utilize all the resources to convert your ui des uh, ux designs into ui this is html css don't worry about what is html css uh, in couple of next slides i am going to explain you that as well okay once this utilizer op he or she is converting that applications uh, you know into small you know in html or css 
Meanwhile, what our provider OP is doing, he is or she is creating the APIs. Basically, API is application programming interface that is used to communicate between, uh, you know, uh, protocol to communicate between your front end and back end. Okay, and APIs are always of two types, private and public. So the APIs which will be developed by uh, Facebook will be totally private. It's not allowed to use by anyone into the open market. Else, you know, the you know the uh, there will be no authenticity or the data will get leaked. You know how these data are getting leaked. Basically, people try to uh, hack the APIs and try to enter into their server. Once this product is ready by designer, utilizer, and provider OP then all this application will be bundled and given to the supplier. So what this supplier will do, he or she will deploy the website on the uh, server or when we are talking about apps, so he or she will deploy that website on the your play stores. So that's how a life cycle of uh, product works. So basically we have front end and back end. We are going to concentrate on this front end and back end individually now. What does this basically means? So front end people, what they are to doing is basically they are managing everything which is client facing, that's it's user facing, whatever is available to user. So when we are talking about front end of web development, I have marked over here few things as uh, surrounded by yellow that are very much. So HTML is going to give you the structure of your website. CSS is going to improve the look and feel of your website, how it should look, how it should behave when you are in the small screen, how it should behave in the tablets, how it should behave in the desktop and all these things. JavaScript is basically used to you know make your websites more interactive. Uh, guys, there was like time before 1992, the websites were just a static website. You cannot do, user cannot click on your website. But nowadays the era has changed. Revolution has been taken place. Digital revolution has been taken place. So JavaScript makes your user interaction possible in your website. Then ES6 is that it's like an updated version of JavaScript. If you want to learn web development or if you want to enter into the web development, these three things are very important. Apart from this, to make our life more easier there is a community support which makes you know small you know uh, more libraries or frameworks are made on css or javascript that one should learn to make the development cycle faster and smoother so we have multiple frameworks over here available in the market this checkbox means they have the most job opportunity so bootstrap is one of the css framework then uh, css preprocessor we have sas then react js guys if you are uh, nowadays if 10 websites are getting built out of 10, eight websites are getting uh, de de developed using React.js because React.js is the only framework or library available in the market on which multiple libraries and frameworks has been made. Now, what is library and framework? I'm not going to go very depth into this because you know that in itself is like a lengthy topic. So let's not uh, try to take deep dive into framework and library. Just understand these things are there to make your life more easier. Then we have another uh, JavaScript library. So you can learn from this also. Lodash is one of the demanding and jQuery. It is totally eliminated. If anyone is telling you to learn jQuery at this time, that person is like fooling you else. That person is very old school. Like uh, jQuery was used in 2010s. Now we have changed the things and now get, uh, we are evolving. Every day new technologies are coming. So this is all about front end. To become a front end developer, you should at least know HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. That's very minimal thing which is required. But nowadays, the you know the competition is so much, so much that you should at least know one framework of each library, uh, each language. Okay. Next we have is back end. How back end is developed or how back end works is basically your server, basically where everything will be stored for you, your brain of the website. So we have multiple, uh, you know. Uh, things uh, or multiple programming language on which backends are developed. Again, I have marked over here one, two, three. So that says the uh, one has the most job market job opportunities and three has like less market job opportunities. I'm not telling that is not in demand. Python and Java is also in great demand, but they have compete, uh, compared to Node.js, they have the less, uh, less market capture. The reason behind it, Node.js is built on JavaScript. So if you are uh, opting or on the backend, not JS, what will happen? You just have to learn one programming language that is JavaScript. But if you're opting for uh, Python, Java, Ruby or Golang, what will happen? You have to, apart from JavaScript, you also have to learn one more language and then their own frameworks. Okay. So that makes life little difficult in the start. So that's why there is like more market capture of Node.js developer. And you might have seen job opportunities as Monstack developer, Meme stack developer, Maven stack developers. So these are like 
all the javascript developers so that's like building block of uh, basically two building blocks of javascript uh, you know web front end and back end so i hope you are also clear with what is front end and back end now when we are talking what everything we understood what now we have to understand why you should do a web development in the today's era so guys uh, in the year 2018 uh, there was a survey conducted by stack overflow so for the the conclusion of that survey was there are you know 3 billion businesses across the world okay there are 3 billion businesses across the world and there are only 22000 uh, lakhs uh, of website available in the market that is like out of total business just 1% of the peer companies or businesses having their own website as a product or a service anything you talk so um, if you uh, and from 2018 we have seen the revolution things are getting online more and from there uh, currently in 2021 survey it became from 22 lakh thousand crores to 100 lakh thousand crores so within 3 years you know four times of websites has been made so you can understand how this digital revolution is directly impacting the web development field and if web development field is getting impacted directly uh, uh, in positive way what will happen it is automatically creating job opportunities for the web developers okay and when we are talking uh, apart from this there are many perks right so you get the chance to work with the awesome tech companies so if you go and check any company whether it is amazon whether it is flipkart whether it is netflix mintra or misho or you talk about taika any company they have their own business model but they will always have two things in common they will have their own website or they will have their own application where user can come and uh, you know interact with the uh, they can purchase their product so what does this mean basically for everything every business to survive in the market right now whether it is an e-commerce whether it is an ad tech whether it is an uh, insurance or banking anything the uh, market for the uh, you know web is required so you get a chance to come work with the awesome technology tech companies like currently in amazon there are more than 9000 vacancies for web developer i'm only talking about web developer and there are more than 7500 opportunities for android and ios web app developers so you can understand i'm just talking about one company and amazon is like a brand in the market right now if you go if you go on linkedin or if you go anywhere if you don't know what does this fang or mang means then you are not counted as an it candidate also that the level of you know curiosity or that the level of uh, you know brand this company has made in the market after je cracking fang has become new normal now okay so you get a chance to work with this awesome technology company i am talking about job opportunities as previously i said it's very much clear that you have lots of job opportunities every small or big companies they are going to hire a web or app developer okay and uh, if you go on if you after this webinar if you go uh, search on nokri.com indeed.com no linkedin.com just type over there front end developer app developer ios developer web developer node js developer you will get tremendous job opportunities of course there is a competition that's why you have to upskill yourself okay now we are talking about lucrative income i guess you all are aware about the new uh, you know recent information by iit roorkee guy the guy from iit roorkee his name is chinmay uh, or chinmay i guess i don't know full name his name is chinmay he has cracked the package of 2.15 crore in japan based company as a full stack developer full stack developer means he knows the android app development and uh, web app develop web development so front end and back end he knows everything about front end and back end development he has cracked the package of 2.15 crores okay so i'm talking the ex, you know iitians are exceptional in front of us we come from the you know third tier college so that doesn't mean we are going to be behind in the race i even i was a third three tier college student even my friend husain was a three tier college student but you know we we didn't blame our college what we do we did we took it in a positive way and we uh, we uh, started working hard on ourselves right now if uh, you know entry level students were getting 3 lakhs in the market on the other end you same guy like 
my friends or me we are getting 12 lakhs 13 lakhs packages so 12 lakhs 13 lakh package is like very big amount for a middle class student or a poor guy who is coming from a poor background or middle class background and easy learning curve and creative and fun if i'm talking about easy learning curve the 2020 survey of stack overflow says the web development is the easiest thing to learn in the market the reason behind is not the concepts are not easy i'm not talking about the concepts there are lots of things to learn in the web there is like uh, every new day a new framework or library is coming in the market what i'm telling main by easy learning curve is there is like great community support for web when we are talking about websites so what happens you have lots of resources and instructor who is teaching you uh, web development that's why it becomes more easy to learn creative and fun if you uh, start dirtying your hands on css you will trust me you will enjoy the uh, fun how much you get uh, while doing html css and create you basically means you have to be very much attentive to these things attention to details has to be given because uh, because if you are talking about front end development you have to create you because you are going to be uh, you know uh, end point for the user whatever user is seeing so you have to be creative okay and um, so that's all about why you should pursue web development as a career option now if i'm talking how web development is or app development is a future proof if we talk there are many latest technologies we have ai we have machine learning we have data science we have iot we have cloud we have uh, you know devops we have so many things in the market why we are focusing more on web or app so the reason behind it is if you open an instagram okay and if you are scrolling on the feed whatever you like next day if you open you are going to get the content which are relevant to that so this ai machine learning data science they are not directly coming into the market as a product what they are doing they are writing their own algorithm in the back end okay and they are using your mobile applications or uh, web uh, web applications as a platform to imp uh, to impose their algorithms on this so if you talk about iot how iot will change web development uh, guys, uh, I guess you all are aware about the ACs. Nowadays, ACs you can connect with your mobile phones, MI mobile phones, right? So, what does this MI mobile phone does? The IoT is your hardware device. Uh, sorry, AC is your hardware device, right? So, IoT basically means to connect the hardware and software and doing the internet on, like doing the things on the internet. So, these things are connecting wirelessly. Basically, they are connected through internet. Now, whenever you click on your um, MI application, your AC will on, your AC will off or you know you can do all the activities on your mo mobile application to so what i am trying to say is whatever you do right now on the uh, you know uh, whatever you uh, want to learn about latest technologies the web and app are the foundations because without web and app they cannot portray their skills or they cannot market their algorithms that's why uh, the web and app are for uh, for sure going to rule for next 10 years i don't know about 10 years because tomorrow something new can come but yeah, 10 years is like long term. We can sustain in the market. That's why we are talking more and we are pressurizing more on web and app. So web and app, again, a future proof options. Okay. Now, is it worth joining IT world rather because there is lots of competition in the market. So there are a few facts and figures I'm going to display in front of you. So tech services to hit dollar three fifty billion revenue by 2025. Currently, the revenue is $125 billion. Okay, so it's going to be, uh, you know, 1.125% increase in that. And guys, I'm not making these things up. There are resources attached to this, you know, all the facts, like you can go and check that as well. The world need program and, and that demand is growing. Web development jobs are expected to increase by 13% by 2028. Guys, this 13% looks very small, you know, uh, small figure, a small percentage. But this is talking about how to 100% uh, of IT field, 13% is going to be get captured by web development. Similarly, we have for app development and uh, mobile app development as well. Smartphones are inseparable from the business present business culture. What does this basically mean? For every business to operate in the digital mode, they will either need a web or they will either need an app. Okay. So, up. Uh, we have more graphs over here. So this is the research which was conducted by US Computer and Information Technology Organization. So they have predicted in 2020 median pay. So for a web developer, how much they are earning. So you can see the employment graph over here. So employment changed from 2020 to 2030. What it is going to be happening is 
ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड डॉलर देर इज लाइक ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड डॉलर अमाउंट ऑफ यू नो देर पे स्केल इज गोइंग टू इनक्रीज नाउ एफ आई एम टॉकिंग पर आर हाउ मच दे आर गेटिंग पेड थर्टी सेवन पॉइंट वन टू डॉलर दैट मीन्स अराउंड सेवन सेवन हंड्रेड फोर्टीन इट विल कम समवेयर अराउंड यू नो ट्वेंटी फाइव थ्री थाउजेंड रुपीज पर आर that's like very big amount if you're talking if you're working 8 hours a day you are going to earn more than you know um 20 25000 in a day but in india that is different because in india the currency is different we have to talk in indian amount so in india currently the paper are skilled. if you are very skilled you are going to get at least 3 to 3 3000 uh, 3500 per day so that is also big amount you are going some in year, in a month you are earning somewhere around lakh or lakh that is like really decent amount and whatever i am talking is just a bachelor's degree i'm not even including masters as the moment okay now if i'm talking about the graphs over here where i was mentioning how this it uh, websites has been evolved from uh, 2016 15 so see in 2016 there were just you know one uh, one billion websites in 2017 it became to 175000 and in 2018 again it shrinked the reason behind it is not the Uh, it's not the deployed you know decrease in the market basically already 1.75 billion people already have a website so what is happening in the next year less people needs that but in 19 and 20 it again dependently increased and it went up to 2000 2 lakh uh, 2 lakh website per year so this is all about you know your it world what is web what is app and everything about that now i have a quick question to you guys guys can you tell me have you seen any of your seniors or any of your friends who is struggling to get a placement guys please use the chat box or you can now i will ask you to unmute yourself and answer how you have uh, seen them struggling in this way i i would really request gaurav to unmute yourself and can you just tell me uh, i don't want to disclose the name of that person i will also request you there but can you tell me how that guy is struggling or why that guy is struggling uh, gauro can you unmute yourself yes sir few of my friends who are in the peer attitude test okay let's find the number one test okay 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 got it Par powers can you can you unmute yourself and can you tell a small story why your friend is struggling or why he or she is not able to crack the job so he is actually uh, he cannot decide his do, uh, domain so okay. yeah so he is doing multiple things and then he is not getting a job in a okay. particular yeah others can you please please help us out how to understand what is actually and, and happening in the colleges right now because we have passed out college you know long back so we don't know what is the current college student scenario is happening So can you please unmute yourself and help us out to understand why people are struggling at least? Okay, that looks like uh, many of you are not uh, aware about this situation, or there are possibilities that you might have not met such people. Okay, so I will tell you the real problem, and I guess. i will also uh, once i am done with the sharing this problem i will also request the faculties to give their inputs on this problem the main problem uh, it was discussed by mr uh, azim prem ji he is the owner and founder of wipro it's one of the you know biggest service based company of india the actual problem what wipro azim prem ji sir mentioned was there is some gap between a student or the course what they are learning or what they have done and there is some difference between industry so what is this different basically is students know the foundation student knows the basics student know multiple programming languages as paurus said his friend is like his friend knows so many things so student knows most of the things the pro main problem what is there is they are not able to connect this concepts with the industry or what we are talking is projects because in industry you are not going to do programming or one or two files you are going to program in more than 1000 files at the time you are going to maintain the version you are not so that is like there is lack of skills of i'm not telling lack of skills i'm telling lack of relevant or industry related training uh, skills okay apart from this uh, students nowadays we have seen uh in indian education system even i have faced this problem what happens student uh, 
uh, universities at some point of time becomes lenient with the students. So students are not ready to understand what is stress. Students are not ready to accept the anxiety. Students are not ready to accept the failure. Okay, this is like Indian society which says failure is not allowed. Man, you have to do it. Means you have to do it. So this is like uh, this is a major problem. We firstly we are in, emotionally we are not strong. Secondly, uh, we are not industry ready. Okay, and whenever what is the because of all these things, what is happening? Uh, you are getting a job which is you know uh, which you are not actually looking or you know it is not satisfactory job. Okay, and the job is not satisfactory. For sure, you are not going to sustain in that field more than a year or couple of years. I am not telling finding job is difficult. Trust me, if you bring your resume, it is like within a day you will get a job. Okay, but what will be the pay scale? Fifteen thousand, twelve thousand, seventeen thousand. You might have seen people are struggling in this pay scale, but that's like not an ultimate aim. You have done your graduation, that to you know engineering, that to computer science or mechanical or electrical. You deserve at least you know a good decent package using which you can at least take care of yourself. In fifteen seven thousand, a normal student cannot uh, live a sustainable life. We might have seen there are like multiple meme pages or there are multiple people who are making fun of engineer, but they don't know the power of engineer because engineer is the only person who can do anything apart from engineering. We have heard this right because we are like all rounders. So what you have to do the actual problem over here is we are not able to decide what we have to do. we are not if we have decided the skills we have but we don't know how to connect it with the industry and apart from this emotional intelligence is also matters over here so these are the few major problems we can understand and i would also request the like you know faculty in general like vvn sir please uh, like help us out to understand what are the other problems or is this the problems which i have addressed is this the real problem in the market or not right now um i guess vavian sir is like has dropped from the meeting uh can anyone like uh, can host or uh, can check uh, yeah, that sir is there in the meeting or not hello okay. yes sir yeah yeah vidal actually i got disconnected tell me not in so sir we address few problems why students are not able to get the job the main what the problem we are thinking is uh, there is like uh, first thing students are not able to decide the domain if they have decided the domain they have learned the skills the skills are not up to the mark which industry is expecting apart from this we have seen also emotional intelligence also matters so these three are major problems which students are facing right now to get a proper job or you know to get a proper de desired job or good profile so this the the like this is the problem where it industry or students are struggling at the moment moment what is your view on this sir okay uh yeah uh, whatever points you have just emphasized uh, they are correct because um, one thing uh, when i'm seeing from one end of the spectrum as a faculty uh the syllabus which is there all right which our students are learning uh is very much outdated okay uh because when i interact with my friends those who are working in industry a uh, lot of latest technologies which are already used and you know we all know that the technology gets outdated very fast specifically when we are talking about uh, the it field so it's very important that we update ourselves on a regular basis so what syllabus our students studying it's not that efficient enough where you know they can get placed easily and uh, this is my experience uh, because from past 6 to 7 years i've been in teaching field and um, to be very frank uh, whatever you learn might help you to clear your basics but when it comes to placements all right when the interviews happen because i have seen some of them clear the aptitudes but when it comes to the technical round they are out all right this is one side that i would say 
okay maybe some of them are very good technically but on the other hand when it comes to their uh, presentation and speaking skills they lack over there so these are some of the things so that is why uh, we this was a worldwide problem specifically in mumbai i would say and in other parts of maharashtra so uh, the education sector is trying to improve but the scenario is not yet stable i don't think there would be a single college of engineering or any other where we can say that we have 100% placements annually or each year every student is placed we cannot say that okay and uh, so that is why to overcome this a lot of a lot of uh, bridge courses okay have been introduced uh, we also initiated this particular practice that uh, we try to call people from industry and we try to at least make students aware all right because when you are at least aware of some technique all right you are inquisitive enough to just go and google out and see a few videos so that is why uh, we try to have certain bridge courses to students and uh, we are still you know uh, in progress but uh, to be very frank the scenario when it comes to placements is not up to the mark so even i had a word with bilal and uh, he came up with this uh, very good uh, initiative of uh, identifying uh, the students in our college and uh, you know uh, definitely uh, make students uh, grow in the field of web and android application so he put forth a proposal uh, along with hussain so let's Sir, see I'm how does it work about that. Yeah. yeah so this is a thing this is my perspective i would say it's a long way for the students uh, in order to meet the expectations of the industry Correct. so this is my uh, perspective yeah uh, thank you so much sir but uh, from a student point of view now i'm going to talk to a student guys if something is not happening according to you is it good that you are just laying back and you are getting dependent on your college or university see universities are like uh, run by you know there is a famous quote uh, which was said uh, by elon musk uh, that a country of uh, like you know youth is been run by 40, 70 year old education system and 70 year old uh, uh, prime minister it was said about india okay i am not judging my prime minister or i am i'm not even judging my old school or the uh, higher authorities they have like you know if i combine all of us uh, the experience which we possess as a industry expert or as a you know as at the political level or at the higher authorities they have more experience i am not talking about them but yeah it is very much famous saying that this revolution will take time But till that, it doesn't mean that we are laying back on our sofas and just judging our society or just passing comments how it can improve. That because of education system, my life is ruined, or because of my college, my life is ruined, or because of external factors, my life is ruined. What has what you can do on this? We have multiple solution for this. So my friend Hussein is going to talk about solutions now. So I would request everyone to. please hear this uh, solutions uh, you know uh, it might be a life changing moment for you because in one of the webinar similar to uh, similarly i was sitting on your end and a person came he took a seminar on same topic and that changed my life so if this uh, webinar is going to change your life also it's going to be very much helpful for us and it's going to be a pride moment for us also okay so that's uh, over to you sir all right so as our sir and mr bilal rightfully said the problem right now that we are facing is the gap correct the gap between the industry the gap between the campus and the corporate so was the best way that this can be covered the best possible option is an industrial training i myself i am a trainer for more than 8 months now i have trained hundreds of students okay even mr bilal uh, 
take some courses on web development so we already have that knowledge and we have the experience how to bridge this gap so we came up with an affordable solution in front of you so there's a course that we are going to deliver in st johns and the course will be of three section front end web development front end app development and back end development as mr bilal explained you in detail what is front end what is back end it is as important as you know all the things are important you can't say that nahi yaar only front end is good back end is not good or only app development is good web development is good no everything is equally important it's all up to you what you want to learn okay so we have, we have came up for with th these three courses that is front end web front end app and back end rich development now what happens actually is uh, i'm not blaming anyone over here but it, this is the fact like in college right now we even if we learn app development will probably will be learning in java okay or else in uh, ui development in an xml am i right or wrong kindly tell me if i'm wrong please put it in the chat box what what's your core syllabus of app development are you using java are you using kotlin are you using jetpack compose what are you using right now just anyone has done android development in college right now okay okay so uh, i few days back i spoke to my professor okay even they were speaking about ke the course syllabus has still not updated wo abhi bhi java mein padhane ke liye bol rahe hain so that's the thing right now java is outdated in industry no one is using java for app development i'm specifically talking about app development right now theek hai no one is using java theek hai everyone is using kotlin and jetpack compose for ui designing theek hai i don't know how many of you are aware of uh, jetpack compose that's the new way of creating ui in android uh, if you talk about uh, web development uh, i'm not sure if you are still taught react js right now in college no that's that's not the scenario and that's the exact problem in industry no one expects you ki aap java pe app banao ya aap java script pe ek website banao no right now people want what what was latest is there in the industry correct jo bhi market mein chal raha hai um let's say flutter chal raha hai react native chal raha hai so they expect you to learn flutter and react native but all these things are not included in our course syllabus and that's where the problem is yes where you should go one step ahead and upskill yourself now you can everything is available for free but the reason over there either it is very old whether it is outdated ya wo live nahi hota hai theek hai you have youtube so here's the uh, solution that we came up a, a live lecture hands on sessions um, and industrial training on all these three courses theek hai what <clears throat> why why young developers young developers is name of our group why you should to young developers because we already have experienced industrial mentors theek okay? hai uh, it will be project based learning jo bhi aap sikhoge app development ya web development it will be completely based on projects you will make projects that you can add on resume theek okay? hai we have a very unique approach you might have noticed this in our a presentation also you might have noticed you both old school type of nita we used lot of memes or uh, whatever trending things were going on theek hai abhi ek surprise aapke liye bacha hai make sure that you are uh, staying awake till the end it's it's very nice aapko maza aayega ye dekh ke so we have this very unique approach because we ourselves are young to hame pata hai ki young blood ko kya chahiye aur kaise unko interest aata hai theek hai the biggest advantage that we are giving is live on hands on sessions डेली जूम मीटिंग हो गया गूगल मीटिंग हो गई जिसमें हम टीच करेंगे आपको कोई भी इश्यू आ रहा है एनी प्रॉब्लम यूर फेसिंग वी कैन इंटरेक्ट ओवर देर ठीक है एनी प्रॉब्लम आ रही है वी कैन हैव डाउट सेशन ऑन दैट सारी चीज लाइव होगी एंड द बेस्ट पार्ट इज अ पॉकेट फ्रेंडली नाउ द प्राइस फॉर दिस कोर्स इज वेरी मिनिमम ठीक है ये मिनिमम अमाउंट से हम एंट्री कर रहे हैं इतना पैसा आप इजिली इजिली किसी एक पार्टी में खर्चा कर देते हो ठीक है आप बर्थडे होते हैं लोगों के इससे दो गुना ज्यादा लोग खर्चा करते हैं या सब कुछ शूज ले लेते हैं स्नीकर इससे ज्यादा महंगे आते हैं ठीक है तो ये इतना ज्यादा अफोर्डेबल प्राइस है अब इसी इंडस्ट्रियल मेंटर्स में रही प्रोजेक्ट बेस्ड लर्निंग में रही एक यूनिक अप्रोच के साथ स्टडी में रही है ठीक है नॉट दट बोरिंग पीपीटीज या स्लाइड्स या वन वे कम्युनिकेशन वो नहीं लाइव हैंड्स ऑन सेशन में रहे ये सारी चीजें ये पूरा कॉम्बिनेशन आपको सिर्फ और सिर्फ सिर्फ और सिर्फ टू थाउजेंड रुपीज में मिल रहा है नाउ ये कॉस्ट एक स्नीकर से भी कम है 
ठीक है अगर आप कोई भी कोई भी आज शूज परचेस करने आओगे ना कि पूमा एडिडास जो भी आप यू तो तो यू नो ब्रांडेड कोई भी चीज लेने जाओगे उससे कम कॉस्ट है ये ठीक है ये वो कॉस्ट है जिससे इससे ज्यादा पैसे लोग अपने बर्थडे पार्टीज में खर्चा कर देते हैं ठीक है सो इतने कॉस्ट में कोर्स लेके आना जो इंडस्ट्रियल एक्सपीरियंस लोग है उनके थ्रू दैट्स वेरी अफोर्डेबल यू कैन गोइंग टू वॉट एवर यू लाइक आपको वेब डेवलपमेंट सीखना है गोइंग टू वेब डेवलपमेंट दैट्स इन ग्रेट फील्ड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लर्न एप डेवलपमेंट कम इन एप डेवलपमेंट दैट्स अमेजिंग फील्ड राइट नाउ इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गोइंग टू बैक एंड यूर मोर लाइक नहीं यार मेरे को यू आई के साथ खेलना मजा नहीं था बट आई कैन डेवलप वेबसाइट आई कैन डेवलप एपीआई आई कैन डेवलप बैक एंड मेरे को सर्वर डिप्लॉयमेंट में मजा आता है मेरे को क्लाउड वगैरह में मजा आता है सो बैक एंड इज देयर फॉर यू एंड इफ यू आर लाइक कि चलो मेरे को दोनों चीजें सीखनी और फिर मैं डिसाइड करूंगा मेरे को किस में जाना है सो लर्निंग बोथ स्किल्स यू हैव हैव अ डिस्काउंट ऑन दैट 3500 फॉर बोथ फ्रंट एंड वेब एंड फ्रंट एंड एप नाउ डिसीजन इज ऑल योर्स सी दिस थिंग वी आर ऑलरेडी डूइंग इन इंडस्ट्री फॉर लास्ट एट मंथ्स एंड वी हैव सीन स्टूडेंट्स ग्रोइंग इन एम वैष्णव कॉलेज दैट आई टूक वन मंथ वर्कशॉप आई हैव सीन पीपल फ्रॉम वेरियस फील्ड आई हैव टॉट पीपल ऑफ आर्ट्स आर्ट्स के बच्चों को एप डेवलपमेंट सिखाया and that's that's amazing ke logo ko interest hai even log law kar rahe hain and unko interest hai ke no we want to learn app development it's there aap mumbai mein jaoge even 11 12th ke bacche seekh rahe hain theek hai so this is your chance ab go ahead and any any questions on anything now will be your time ask me anything mein aapka hoga just a sec so guys if we are talking about front uh, this price 2000 rupees is it justified or not for you so what is all things are going to be included in this if you are talking about anything it will be included 40 to 45s of uh, 40 to 45 hours of dive training we are, will be building at least two to three projects we will be revamping your github profile we will be revamping your linkedin profile we will be helping you to learn git github also Or apart from this we are going to you know help uh, conduct another sessions for your cv how you should design your cv or resume how one industry expert or you know hr recruiter looks at your cv what he or she tries to resolve uh, pick the words from your cv all these things will be also included and if i'm talking apart from all these things why we have kept this course prices 2000 or 3500 we are providing same training as my friend mentioned he is a full time trainer at skillwell techs you can go and check their website this same course you will be getting over there at 25000 or 18000 or max to max in between 18 to 25000 you can search for any institute in the india you go to highest you know uh, if you go and search for same course at great learning or upgrade you will get this course in 2 lakh 37500 rupees that's their original price now you will be thinking why we have kept this as 2000 rupees the reason behind to is this very clear we both come from a small village okay and we have seen a society or we have seen a student of the small village or three tier college they really struggle they do not struggle uh, with the technology or with they they are really smart but what they, where they struggle is they do not get a proper resource or they do not have a proper resource or they if they try to go to any institute that institute fees is like very high that the one student cannot afford and i guess if you are learning or studying in st john's college that's like uh, like you know very very good college in our locality or you know in uh, overall uh, this from uh, if you talk about this uh, path of from dhanu to church get this like reputed college if you are studying in this college or in uh, so privileged college i guess a student can afford 2000 3000 rupees on such courses and that's like you know the return of investment on this type of course trust me guys if you are completing this course you won't even come to us to ask for placement if you go and apply by yourself within 3 to 4 interviews you will be able to get the better and better jobs okay and the return on investment will be compared to your mncs who is providing you yearly package of 2 to 3 lakhs to over year if you enter into the market uh, if you try to negotiate properly you can easily get 5 6 lakh package and if you try to switch your job from in from first year in within a year if you try to switch a job uh you can easily make up to 10 lakhs within a year um uh, i will tell you a small story about me like when i entered into the market 
uh, my first salary was seven thousand. That time I was just knowing HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Within three months, I made a switch. I got my another offer that was directly of twelve lakh rupees. So that's how, like, within three months, I know I was earning less. But that time I was not having many privilege to learn from any institute. So over there, what they promised, you have to work for us, and we will be teaching you. I took it is in a positive way. Seven thousand per month. It's like. nothing i was staying in bangalore at that time it's like uh, i was not able to pay my pg rent as well but i took it in a positive way i cut down my some other cost cutting and everything and i managed to complete that course but after 3 months my life changed right so all whenever you whenever you are coming whenever someone is coming up with something like this don't take only don't only think about 1000 2000 3000 rupees take uh, think about the return on investment how you are going to get Uh, how much you are going to get after investing your forty five hours, fifty five hours, and paying two thousand rupees? How much you are going to get in the end? That is important. So that's all about our course. Course pricing now. Has, we have a small conclusion video for you guys. So over to you, Usain again. Thank you, Abhay. Just a second. Just a second. Just a second. कम ना बिलाल और इट सी एक बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियो बट बिफोर दिस वीडियो आई वांट अ लिटिल अटेंडेंस काइंड ऑफ ठीक है मैं चाहता हूं कि एक छोटा सा अटेंडेंस काइंड ऑफ चाहिए एक छोटा सा आई जस्ट वांट एन इंटरेक्शन हाउ मच ऑफ योर अवेलेबल जस्ट पुट अ यस इन द चैट बॉक्स अ सिंपल यस इन द चैट बॉक्स वर्क्स फॉर मी इफ यू आर लिसनिंग टू मी यस पुट अ यस इन द चैट बॉक्स All right, I can see the response. Now this is is unique. ये आपने ऐसे कोई presentation में नहीं देखा होगा, ठीक है? A very small story for all of you, for all of us, ठीक है? So I would request Mr. Bilal to kindly play and just let me uh, uh, let us know if you can hear this or not. जस्ट गिव अ सेकेंड हाँ एक सेकेंड स्क्रीन शेयरिंग ऑफ करने करे तो पहले जस्ट अ सेकेंड हाँ देर सम ऑडियो ग्लिच ओवर देर Uh, one more thing that I would like to ask: uh, From which year are you? First year, second year, third year? Kindly put it in the chat box so we'll understand better. Okay, how uh, what's going on right now? Okay, second, second. Okay, anyone from first year, third year, last year, third? Okay, second years. Okay, so for more, it's a lot more. Yes, yes. Last year. Okay. Yes. Yes. Uh, is it audible? Is the audio clear to you? Just. Uh, Rich. हमें शायद अभी ऐसा लग रहा है कि हम यहाँ कोटा में आए हैं मजे कर रहे हैं घूम रहे हैं पढ़ रहे हैं मेमोरीज बन रही हैं, दोस्ती हो रही है पर यार ऐसी दोस्ती के एंड में जब रिजल्ट नहीं आता ना तो मुड़ के इस टाइम को याद करने का मन भी नहीं करता फिर वो बस एक बुरी मेमोरी बन के रह जाती अगर सिलेक्ट नहीं हुआ ना 
तो ये हमारी जितनी भी शैतानियां है ना गलतियां बन के रह जाएंगी हमारी एज ही ऐसी है यार हम ना देख ही नहीं पाते कि आगे क्या होने वाला दिस वीडियो क्लिप we found very relevant to what's the scenario with us right now okay a very short story i would like to tell you all about an eagle okay um just a sec a, a story of an eagle ye story mere dil ke bahut kareeb hai theek hai i want you all to Pay attention to whatever I am going to say next. ठीक है एक बार एक फार्मर पहाड़ियों से गुजर रहा था जाते हुए उसने देखा कि ईगल अंडा देकर कहीं उड़ गया है बहुत टाइम तक वो वापस नहीं आया तो उसे डर लगा कि शायद इस जो अंडा है इस इसके अंदर का जो जान रहेगी इसके अंदर जो लाइफ रहेगी उसको खतरा है तो वो क्या करता है वो अंडे को ले जाकर अपने घर पे बाकी जो मुर्गी के अंडे होते हैं उनके साथ रख देता है अब होता क्या है कुछ समय बाद उस अंडे में से एक जान बाहर आती है ईगल का बच्चा बाहर आता है तो जैसे जैसे वो ईगल का बच्चा मुर्गियों के बच्चों के साथ रहता था वो मुर्गी के बच्चे जैसे जैसे दाना चुगने जाते थे ये भी उनके पीछे पीछे चले जाता था वो खाना पीने खाते खाते थे पीते थे ये भी उनके तरह ही खाते पीते और उनकी तरह जिंदगी जीने लगा बहुत समय बाद जब वो पानी पी रहा था एक नदी में तो उसने एक रिफ्लेक्शन देखा ऊपर एक ईगल का जो आसमान में एकदम शांत से अपने पंख फैलाते हुए उड़ रहे तो उसने ये चीज देखी तो उसे बहुत अच्छा लगा उसने सोचा काश काश मैं भी एक ईगल का बच्चा होता काश मैं भी आसमान में ऐसा उड़ रहा होता पर उसे कोई ये बताने वाला नहीं था कि तू तू किसी मुर्गी का बच्चा नहीं तू भी एक ईगल का बच्चा है तेरे पास भी पंखे तू भी उड़ सकता है कहना क्या चाहता हूं दोस्तों हम सब उसी ईगल के बच्चे की तरह है कैपेबिलिटीज हम सब में रहती है हम सब यूनिक रहते हैं हम सबके पास हमारी स्ट्रेंथ होती है हमें सिर्फ एक आईना दिखाने की जरूरत होती है जाते हुए सिर्फ दो सवाल छोड़ जाना चाहता हूँ आपके लिए तुम्हारा वो आसमान कहाँ है जहां तुम उड़ना चाहते हो और तुम्हारे अंदर छुपी हुई कौन सी केपेबिलिटीज है जो तुम्हें ऊपर उड़ने में मदद करेगी ये स्टोरी के साथ मैं कंक्लूड करना चाहूंगा आज का प्रेजेंटेशन थैंक यू वेरी मच आप बहुत अच्छे ऑडियंस थे थैंक यू फॉर योर कॉर्डिनेशन आपको कुछ भी डाउट से आपको जो कुछ पूछना है नाउ इट्स योर टाइम इट्स फ्री फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू आप जो कुछ ना चाहते हो पूछ सकते हो इट्स दी क्वेश्चन आंसर टाइम ठीक है तो जो भी डाउट है जो भी क्वेश्चन है यू कैन पुट इट इन द चैट बॉक्स थैंक यू सर फॉर सच एन अमेजिंग टॉक ऑन फुल स्टैक डेवलपमेंट पार्टिसिपेंट इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन यू मे आस्क guys you can unmute yourself and also then you, you can ask your questions it can be related to topic it can apart from topic as well we are open for any other questions as well it can be apart about course also what uh, what you are expecting do you have any questions about that like if you are learning something how you should proceed in that so if you have any questions in that also we are open for that as well and when will the course start okay so vivek uh, if i am uh, if i am answering this question so uh, we are uh, like uh, we do not include so many students at a time what we do we focus on one college at a time so once we get the list of all the students those who are interested and if we get it today we can start from tomorrow also if we get it tomorrow we can start from day after tomorrow also so it totally depends now on students so how many are interested when they wanted to start it's like uh, and if you are talking about uh, courses it will be daily one hour or one 45 uh, sorry one hour to one hour 10 minutes lecture it won't be very lengthy so one hour every day and we are and yeah guys one more thing if we are not able to complete the so uh, you know course within 45 hours so it doesn't mean that we'll end it over there we are going to complete the course till the time we are not satisfied that students are understanding everything and all these things so i hope i answered your question vivek
any other questions guys if there are no questions you can also type no we don't do not mind on that okay i have one simple question for you guys uh how would you rate this webinar from on the scale of 1 to 10 one is very poor 10 is uh, very good or uh, not very good excellent you can say so uh, uh, i am not actually asking oh 10 okay others guys okay okay uh okay that's that's really good uh if you don't mind can one of you unmute yourself and tell why are you giving 10 it's like we don't just want the numbers that you are telling that just to feel as good we want to understand what was the unique that made you to give 10 points on this webinar any one of you else uh, i will be forced to take the name and uh, ask you to unmute yourself okay uh i have one more question are you interested uh, in doing uh, this type of webinar uh, like so, sorry are you interested in enrolling any of the course uh, of whatever we have suggested till now okay pratik is telling seven pratik can you also answer, help us out to understand where did you deducted that three marks so we can improve in future as well if you uh, if you if you don't mind uh, like if you do uh, if you have any issues with that so don't want to keep it in public you can ping me in private as well so we have that option as well so uh, guys are there like any questions or should we conclude the session um bilal and hosen uh, is it fine if i share the form link now in the chat box to the participants yeah yeah sure okay okay uh, so pratik says i was like uh, he was something expecting like technical aspects more so uh, pratik uh, to uh, tell more on this uh, uh, if you are conducting any sort of hands on sessions or any sort of you know uh, more into uh, you know workshops type okay so what happens we have to keep the crowd of all departments because if you are coming from it department or you are coming from cs department this things like very silly to you but you know we have also the crowd from other department so we have to surround like we have to keep everyone in our observation and then only we can deliver something and yeah we are again in the discussion with uh, vivian sir that if uh, you guys are ready we are also going to conduct one hands on session so i get that would be again uh helpful for you guys so over there we are going to take hands on session on specially on web specially on app on latest technology that all also in the discussion right now so uh, i guess uh, if there are no doubts uh, that's all are from our end and lastly i would like to thank the college sjcem for giving us the opportunity or providing us the platform to come and discuss, you know uh, go back to our college time and try to understand the uh, student point of view as well and help us to deliver our uh, whatever we were having in our uh, mind and uh, pitch in our ideas and uh, very a special thank to vivian sir so he was the person who uh, took this initiative to organize this webinar and he is the one who helped us till now and i am hoping same for the uh, same uh, from the sir in the future as well and guys if you have any if you are interested or if you are even not interested please uh, fill the google form which we have shared that is going to uh, like if you are like once you are filling the form uh, the form will be available for next 48 hours after 48 hours our team representative will be calling you in person and discussing about what is your interested and how we can take it further so that's all from our end and uh, thank you so much vivian sir thank you so much uh, uh, powers and uh, vid vidashri for hosting us on this event and that's all from our thank, end thank you sir on behalf of sophisticated and perpetual coders association 
along with Computer Society of India, SJCEM. We would like to thank our speakers, Mr. Bilal and Mr. Hussain, for enlightening on career prospects and full stack development. We would like to thank principal of SJCEM, HODs of all engineering department, faculty members of SJCEM, and our faculty coordinators of SPCA and CSI. Lastly, thank you dear participants for your presence. Participants kindly fill the feedback form. Links are available in your chat box. Submissions of the feedback link is important to avail your e-certificate. This e-certificate of participation will be sent within a week. Also, do not forget to follow Instagram account to stay updated with the upcoming events of SPCA as well as CSI. Also, don't forget to visit our website for more details. Links to all the accounts are available in the chat box. Before ending it officially, I request everyone to kindly switch on your cameras for a group screenshot. Uh, yeah, uh, thank you Vedashri. And uh, once again, I would like to thank uh, Bilal and Hussain for uh, approaching me and, uh, you know, uh, expressing their concerns for the students as uh, our association the main theme is for the students, of the students, and by the students. So I hope uh, this particular expert session uh, will enlighten the minds of all the students in our college, those who have registered. And uh, I hope uh, there is a feedback form that has been circulated uh, for the event as well as expressing your uh, uh, likelihood of uh, participating in the training program. So students, uh, if we have a very good response from your end, you want to have a career in web and Android application field, uh, definitely fill the form, uh, express your uh, satisfaction. And uh, if things work well, definitely uh, without wasting any time, we will try to arrange the sessions. All right. Uh, a set of fields are mandatory to fill the form uh, for offline or online training sessions because the ultimate goal is you, you stand out in the corporate sector and you deliver your skills and expertise. So requesting everyone to turn on their videos once again, thank you, Bilal and Hussein, for uh, taking time from your busy schedule and uh, giving this particular session. All the best to you both too. Thank you so much, sir, uh, for uh, kind words. And guys, guys, lastly, as I, I was discussing with PBN, sir, last week, that you guys are having a one and a half month of semester break right now. So I guess this is the right time to take this because this program is also scheduled for 45 to 50 days. So, you know, once you are entering into your next semester, you will be having additional skills in your resume and you will be like more confident whenever you are going next time into your college. And a final tip from my end, there are like 48 subjects in your engineering four years. You are not supposed to master 48 subjects. You are just supposed to master one subject and rest 47 subjects are just for knowledge. Okay. So focus on one subject, focus on one domain and give your 100%. And on the next or there, you know, in future, you will have really very bright future. And I hope you all have like, I, it's my wish you all have a bright future and all the best for your uh, career. guys. Thank you. Last note from my side. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, everyone. If you have any doubts, if you want to ask anything okay, relevant to topic, off topic, could be, uh, we have dropped our LinkedIn IDs over here. You can even text us over there okay if you have doubts regarding not just about codes okay it's not just about codes we are talking about anything okay if you want any guidance or mentorship chain you can put that you can ping us on the linkedin okay all right thank you very much uh requesting all the participants uh to please turn on the videos and the resource persons you can join for a group picture Once the team has clicked the group picture, please let us know. Done, sir. All right. Uh, once again, uh, 
a special thanks to csi team as well as uh, brinzel ma'am and manali ma'am the faculty coordinators from csi for uh, helping in every possible way because this particular expert talk was arranged for a very short span of time so because the students were having examinations and uh, we tried to manage it amongst ourselves so once again thank you ma'am manali ma'am brinzel ma'am and all the students of spca as well as csi for handling this event uh, for the smooth conduction in a very short span of time so thank you all uh, have a great evening Yeah, uh, participants, uh, you all may start disconnecting.